back to Grizzly News. I'm Anna. And I'm Lily. Hey, Lily, guess what? What? This week in history, the Statue of Liberty was dedicated by Grover Cleveland on October 28, 1886. Hey, Anna, what do you call tea that tastes like freedom? Chamomile tea. <laughs> no, Anna, liberty. Oh, I get it. That's a knee slapper. <laughs> hey, Lily, did you know back in my day I used to be a baller? Are you sure? Are you sure? I'm so confused. Well, anyway, now on to sports. Welcome back to sports. I'm Robert. And I'm Maddie. Why did the coach go to the bank? Why? To get his quarterback. Ha ha. This week, number 11 Kentucky lost to the number one ranked team, Georgia, 30 to 13. Kentucky scored more touchdowns against Georgia than three other teams combined. Kentucky is on a bye this week, and they hope to rebound against Mississippi State on October 30th. In the American League Championship Series, the Red Sox are leading the series 2-1. to one. In the National League Championship Series, the Rays are beating the Dodgers 2-1. to one. Good job to the Lady Grizzlies. They beat St. Joe on Tuesday. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, sports. You know what, Lily? I watched the SpongeBob movie. Well, how was it? Pretty dandy. Well, I got nothing to watch since I've already watched all the movies they recommended on the past episodes. I would highly recommend going back and watch those episodes. They're amazing, especially if you're a string cheese lover. Now on to entertainment. Hey everyone, welcome back to entertainment. I'm Bobby. And I'm Michael. Hey Bobby, I have a joke for you. What is it now? A book fell on my head. I only have myself to blame. <laughs> <laughs> That's a knee slapper! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see the new books in the library. First up is Yara Spring by Jamal Seed. Yara's Spring is about a girl named Yara. Yara's childhood has been child shadowed by the upcoming revolution. In this book, Yara's family's home crashes down and her family is nowhere to be found. Yara soon discovers how far she'll go for her loved ones and for her chance at freedom. Sounds adventurous. Reminds me of the Brave Land series by Aaron Hunter. A lion cast out from his tribe, an elephant who can read the bones of the dead, a baboon repelling against his destiny for generations, the animals of the African plains have followed a single rule, only kill to survive. But when an unthinkable act of betrayal shatters the peace, the fragile balance between predators and prey, you will rest in the paws of three unlikely heroes. You can find all these books in our own STMS library. Hey Anna, I have a riddle for you. What is it? Without being called, we come out at night. Without being stolen, I get lost in the day. If you're super cool and spiffy and know the answer to that riddle, imagine, couldn't relate, you can go and submit your answers to our Instagram at scms underscore grizzly news. We will reveal the answer next episode. So make sure to tune in. Well, that's all we have for you today. See you next time on... Wait for it. Just wait. One more moment. Grizzly News! <laughs>